What's up everyone? Peace and love. Peace and love. How's everyone doing? It's your favorite girl, Isis Love, certified hypnotherapist here. And I'm super, 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 super elated um, for the information that's going to be shared today. I got a powerful guest uh, coming on today. And um, she's going to send me a request. And I'm going to bring her on. And we're going to be talking about the power of gratitude and the power of your words, right? The power of your words. Um, so, yeah. There you go. I'm going to bring up my special guest. Just give me some time. I think, I think she should get the request. There you go. Go. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> so we just get built real quick. Okay. There we go. All right. Cool. <laughs> cool. 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 So um I was just, you know, explaining to the people that we're gonna be doing a powerful live today on uh, the power of gratitude and the power of your words. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna introduce myself again for you know more people coming in and definitely introduce yourself so um for people who may not know me people coming in my name is isis love and i am a certified licensed hypnotherapist and i've been on this journey of helping people reprogram their mind for about five years now started off with you know me needing to get my mind together and so once i seen the effect and the results that I got on myself, I was like, I have to share this with other people. So, yes, thank you guys for being here. I'll pass the mic to you. <laughs> okay, all right. all right. I don't know, maybe it's a delay or something. Okay, hey, everybody. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Laura Roseman. I am affirmation coach. Think of me as your personal trainer for positive self-talk. And like uh, Isis, I too went on a journey of feeling lost and did not know who I was. And um, my words began to affect who I was and who I was turning into, right? And when I learned or realized the power of our words and how it was affecting my next steps and who I really wanted to be and taking that away from me, um, I've been on this 10 plus year um, journey myself and turned it into speaking life over those in my space. All right. So I'm super excited to be here and talk about the power of gratitude because gratitude goes hand in hand with positive self-talk. Yes. Amazing, 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 amazing. All right, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. Make sure you go ahead really quick, hit the share button. Go ahead and share this live. Somebody needs to really hear this message today. And you're going to be doing them a good service by sharing this and them hearing the message. So let's get, let's just dive into it, right? So let's talk really? about gratitude and the power of it and how it affects your mind. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the scientific um, level of gratitude. So I'm going to be sharing three to four different things on how gratitude affects you emotionally and also physically. So the first thing will be is using gratitude rewires the mind. You're literally changing the neural pathways in your brain, which is so important. Because when you do that, you got the serotonin, you got the dopamine, you know, pumping out and coming out. And we need those chemicals. Those are those feel good chemicals, those chemicals that make you feel good, right? So the more you tap into what you're grateful for, the more your mind keeps saying, oh, they're, they're liking this. They're, they're liking this. And so the, the negative thing that you focus on, it, it, it literally, imagine it being a, a record, right? Some of you guys right now are on this old loop, this record of negativity just going over and over. But once you install positively, it changed those neuron patches ways and you just, you feel amazing, right? Um, the second thing I would say is it shifts your perspective. This is a huge one. It literally shifts your perspective. What do I mean by that? You start to, you know, we, we all have our days and we all have things that happen to us. And sometimes 
it's hard for us to get in a place of gratitude. But when you sit down and you really focus, you write what you're grateful for in the daytime, you write what you're grateful for at night, those little things that you think are a burden or really causing you pain, they fade away easier because you're widening your uh, your, uh, your perception on things. Right. You're not just focusing on one thing, right? Would you wanna, you wanna add anything to that before I uh, share the other ones? No, I, I just think gratitude is testimony wise, it makes me feel good. And even when things are not going according to the plans in my mind, I often have to find myself to be like, thank you, thank you, thank you for my sanity right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to be um, in this space. I obviously have the strength to get through this, so thank you for the strength of getting me through this. And so breaking it down in just more layman's terms is more about that, like you said, that feeling within, it can truly shift and change how you move your next step, how you move into your next step. So no, I love what you're sharing. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Ms. Isis doing your thing today. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. So um, the third thing would be stress reducing, yes. right? Yes. Gratitude can put you in a state of feeling uh, less stress. Right? And why? And I got I got some little notes. So if you guys see my eyes, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I got I got some little notes that's helping me guide me through it, right? So um lowering your stress lowers your cortisone levels. And when you lower your cortisone levels, which is your stress hormone levels, guess what? You bring more of those feel good, uh feel good feelings in. So people really underestimate the power of gratitude is bigger just just saying you know okay I'm, I'm thankful like you gotta feel it you gotta mean it and once you do that it's gonna help you sleep better because you're not so stressed a lot of people right now are not sleeping good because their thoughts are keeping them up their stress is keeping them up so you're not sleeping good because you're probably stressed but when you practice gratitude when you take a moment to reflect on what is going on in your life i mean to be honest you guys when i'm giving thanks. I give thanks for my eyebrows, my fingers, for real, yes. my toenails, my vision, my hearing, because these are things that we take for granted. What, 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 you want to add something to that? How do you feel about when it comes to things like that? Uh, absolutely. I wake up and say thank you for my cozy bed that I just got out of. This was so amazing. What a what an amazing sleep because it does help put you in a better space to go to sleep. A lot of times we're so full of um the day's shit right the things that have been happening that we forget to express all of the great things or we forget all of the great things that did happen we can't see it because we're so distracted or other people have influenced our mindset right and so i think it's really important to know that hey a way to empty yourself from the day's things to let go is by expressing gratitude before you lay your head down and then expressing gratitude when you wake up so that you start that day in that type of momentum so yes Yes. Come on. Thank you for that comfortable bed. <laughs> yeah, get a comfortable bed. Yes. <laughs> I'm not even going to hold you. I definitely say thank you uh, for my bed because I knew I used to sleep on an air mattress. Mm. So I know I'm grateful for my bed, right? And yeah. it'd be the things like that. It'd be the things like that that, you know, you, you, I was grateful when I was sleeping on the air mattress because I knew it was temporary. I knew that wasn't going to always be my story. So lastly, mm. just to kind of wrap it up on the scientific of, uh, of gratitude is um gratitude helps you attract more abundance mm -hmm. right it literally helps you attract more abundance if you're focusing on the number on your bank account i need you to stop right now if you're focusing on all oh, my bank accounts on the negative i only got twenty dollars on there i only got thirty dollars on there guess what you're gonna keep getting that because you know our, our positive affirmation coach is about to tell us in a minute how powerful those words are okay so, so the more you give homage to what you already have, I don't care if you got $5 in the bank, your, the universe, your mind, how everything works is going to bring you more abundance into your life because you're switching your mindset. And I learned this when I was homeless. I learned this when I was living in my truck, not really making so much money from selling, you know, crystal jewelry, doing tarot card readings, like whatever I can do to get money in. But I always had the mindset to know that this is just temporary. Mm. I'm abundant. Money flows to me with grace and ease, which we're about to get into those affirmations, right? And once I kept 
that mindset when I tell you my bank account did a 360. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That yeah. thing is 360. So I want to I take it back to you so we can speak a little bit more. Um, just kind of, what, what would you say more about those positive affirmations when it comes to attracting abundance and having that gratitude? Yes, gratitude. One of my affirmations that I love is gratitude as a way of drawing more amazingness into my life. Gratitude does. It really does because what you focus on magnifies. It magnifies. So if you are focused on that $5 or less that you got going on or focus on the negative situations that you can, you have going on, it's going to magnify. That's where you're going to stay. Your energy flows into that space. But when you focus on all of the things that you once asked for and you're grateful for it, right? When you focus on the things that you are asking for and you claim in it that you are thankful for in advance, then you allow those things to be received, right? But if you're clouded by everything that's going wrong in your life, oftentimes you miss the opportunity. You miss those moments to receive all of the abundance that is there sitting there waiting on you to just open up the door. We block our own selves and we have to get out of our own way most times to allow the abundance and the greatness and the love, right? To flow in, to flow in, yes. So that's my whole thing with gratitude. That is a huge thing. Sometimes words, um, a lot of times, actually words mean nothing without the action behind it, right? So like you said, you have to feel it, right? So you can say, thank you, thank you, thank you, right? And that's a practice to start. But then you have to start really, really honing in on what is this that I'm thankful for, right? And then you start visualizing it, then you embody it, and then you then you begin to feel it. And then that's when all of this amazingness begins to start appearing in your life because now you can see it for what it is instead of being distracted by what social media wants you to be thinking about and the news, right? I turn on <laughs> all of those things so that I can receive what's for me because a lot of that shit is not for me, right? It's a distraction. And so we must be aware of the things that are distracting our mind from the greatness that is already set up for us in our lives. So yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for clearing my mind so that I can receive what is there for me, right? Yes. Receive that, y'all. Receive it. <laughs> yes. Take these positive vibes. Take these positive vibes. <laughs> I, love I love it. The energy it. here is so amazing right now. I, I love this energy here, yes. Do y'all feel it? If you feel the energy, drop it like a fire or something. Like you are feeling the high vibrations flowing through here right now. Drop something so that we know you're feeling the vibes flowing through here. You actually are raising your vibration right now being here with Isis and I. Like you have no idea. You might have woke up and forgot to express this gratitude. You didn't even know what you were coming into. I believe you knew you were coming into some amazingness, but I don't think you knew you were about to come into raising your vibration to, to flow through your next steps, through whatever it is that you're going through today in a whole different vibration, receiving something more amazing than you, you even thought about. Receive it, receive it, receive it. I'm just saying, because I feel it. I feel it. Okay. Ooh. Yes, Ooh. yes. <laughs> we have a church here today, baby. <laughs> <laughs> amazing amazing so really quick definitely shout out to miss uh singleton she just brought a badge shout out to miss singleton bringing a badge thank you for the love thank you for the support yes. thank you for the first badge thank you so much abundance all over right sending yes. many many blessings your way and i had a great question that's going to bring us into our second point is how do you reach a state of gratitude when you don't feel like it when you're feeling down, when you're feeling, oh, your, your energy just off. Have you guys ever experienced a time where your energy just fell off? If that's you, put me in the chat. I just want to know. Mm. You ever, let me put me in the chat because I definitely <laughs> felt like that. Like, you know, being in a positive Hello. energy doesn't mean that you're always going to be positive, right? You're not going to always be positive. Things happen in our life, but it's about how you handle it. It's about how you respond versus how you react. And so somebody asked a good question. They said, you know, what do you do when you don't feel it? And, you know, just for me personally, I go back over my gratitude journal. I go back over my journal. I look at everything that I'm grateful for all the way down from the people I'm grateful for. Right. So I go over it. I meditate on it. I take in those those things that I said I was grateful for. I meditate on it. I sit with it. I feel it. And I tell myself, OK, whatever's going on, Isis, this is temporary. This is not here to stay. 
Look at this long list of things that you're grateful for. How good it feels to, to have this, right? So when I'm feeling off, that's one thing that I definitely do. And then I give myself some grace, mm. you know? I give myself some grace because we can definitely be hard on ourselves, right? We can be very, very hard on ourselves. So I give myself some grace. I allow myself to feel these feelings pass through me. I don't claim the feelings. I allow the feelings of that to pass through me. So it's just going through. It's not getting stuck in my body. So what about you? What, what, what do you do when you're feeling, you know, all feel like your vibration is not up? You know, the first thing is, is that you have to really have self-reflection. Like you said, the journal. Um, and with self-reflection, you have to be mindful and self-aware. I teach self-ishness. And I'm not talking about the egotistical side of selfishness, right? I'm talking about all things self, self-healing, self-motivated, self-inspiration, um, self-discovery, right? Self-worth. And so self-awareness is key to even getting into a space of realizing that you're in a funk. Sometimes it is what it is, right? And yeah, it is what it is, but what is this, right? And so in order to get yourself in a space to even be able to express gratitude, to write that wonderful list of things that you're grateful and thankful for, you have to be aware of the space that you're even in in the first place, right? And I'm not saying dig up some old shit. I'm saying, where are you right now? Because oftentimes when we do not feel at our best and things are not going great, it's because we have so far fetched projected something in our mind that we're worried about and we cause anxiety over ourselves or we're dwelling on a old story right that we cannot let go of one of my affirmations is let that shit go right sometimes it's easier said than done it is but i have to remind myself let that shit go laura let that shit go it is not empowering you in this space it is not serving you in this space so one of the hugest things that i would have to say is be mindful and meditation is a huge thing okay um, because it helps you with training your mind, self-awareness. Because a lot of times when you sit with yourself, and I was this person, I didn't like meditation. My mind wouldn't shut up, so I didn't want to hear it, right? But I needed to hear it. I needed to reflect on what those thoughts were telling me. Because without me knowing what my thoughts were telling me, how was I going to make change, right? How was I going to address it? How was I going to push past it instead of allowing it to sit and harbor and weigh me down, right? So once I realized my thoughts were over here and I actually, my spiritual nature of myself, am able to separate myself from the lies in my head that are not empowering me. Once I realized I was able to separate myself and actually see thoughts for what they were, and like you said, let them pass through me because they're only there for a temporary moment. Let them float by like clouds passing through the sky, right? You do not have to identify with everything that you think if it's not empowering you. And that's the key to, I believe, getting into a space of being able to express gratitude, right? Stop identifying with shit that is not empowering you. Identify with being grateful for the things that are. Huh? Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> Hey, I need y'all to drop the fire in the uh, comment bar for that one. Fire, more fire, more fire, fire. more fire. <laughs> we are so, raising vibes around here. Yes, I love we, it. I love it. We raising the vibes. So I got some, I got a I got a question from um one of our um amazing community members. And they want to know, I want to ask this to you. How do you know when you are like a trailing the lines of being positive and toxic toxic positivity so how do you know the difference like if you're being positive or is this like positive toxicity you know what i think that comes down with once again self-reflection self-awareness and being real with yourself okay we know what it is to be real with ourselves you know what really makes you feel good if it feels like you are being toxic positive, you know what that feeling is, right? That's you being real with your, yourself to say, I know what I'm doing to myself. Because I have moments where I'm like, you know what? I know I'm ego tripping right now because I've become so self-aware of when I'm allowing the universe to speak through me or if I'm talking up because I just think I'm this, right? There's times where we have to push our ego to the side, which can be part of that toxic, uh, positive self-talk, trying to talk yourself through some bullshit, right? And that's one of the things about emptying out things that do not serve you, 
Okay, so I need to bust that bubble. And I hope I'm not being too raw for you. You know when it's your ego talking to you, trying to keep you built up. You know that, right? You're not always going to feel good. And that's okay. I think that's part of being genuine with yourself and expressing that gratitude um, and, and keeping it real with yourself with the words that come out of your mouth is saying, you know, am I being real with myself? And how does this really make me feel? Am I being, am I feeling good for a temporary moment with what I'm doing to myself or what I'm saying? or how I'm responding and reacting? Is this temporary? You know how you get in an argument and you done told somebody off so good and you felt good in that moment and afterwards you feel like shit? Like, well, why do I still feel heavy about this? Because sometimes you don't need to open up your mouth and say some things because you allowed other people's energy to suck you in to what they wanted. And sometimes you just needed to be quiet, have a moment with yourself and then come back with true words, right? Words that were actually gonna make an impact. Is what, I'm about to say, is what I'm about to say going to empower this situation or am I just adding fuel to the fire, right? And so I think it's really about being true and honest with yourself and you know what that is. And if you don't, that's time for meditation so that you can hear your thoughts to say, is this feel good to me? Is this empowering? Or am I just really identified with lies in my mind and what other people have told me to believe? Yes. <laughs> Hey, yes, 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 yes. That was deep. I like that. I'm I'm manifesting that Miss Singleton got her uh question answered. I got one more before we go into the woo-woo of uh -huh. the power of your words. So I have another question. I uh one of our community members said, My therapist said, Don't use I am affirmations, use more realistic affirmations. May you please elaborate on this? What is your take you know, on that? What I think is all about your own your own belief system who your therapist no discredit i'm not a therapist i'm not claiming to be one i can only go off a of testimony there was a time that i lost my only sister and the the words that came out of my mouth was i don't know who i am anymore okay and i allowed that to sink a deep hole and i allowed other people to come into my space because i was in a, a vulnerable space and i don't blame these people for taking advantage or doing whatever they did this was a learning curve for me Right. And this is something that I had to learn. Right. And so to say, do not say I am. If that does not feel empowering to you, then don't say I am. But I have an affirmation for us today that says I am in transition to new levels and every moment counts. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that because I am in a transition to a new level and every moment counts, whether it feels good or bad. So I don't think it's about use these specific words i think it's about being true and honest to what you truly want for yourself and that goes with digging deep and 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 giving yourself permission to allow these gifts dreams and ideas to manifest because oftentimes they are so huge and we see people like beyonce and say that will never be me that is affirming yourself that whatever this dream gift this 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 desire within you that's affirming that it will never come true. So stop comparing or allowing other people to fully influence you. Now, there's nothing wrong with someone giving you pointers, but if that doesn't feel like it's truly true to your spirit, you need to know the difference because a therapist is a therapist and a lot of things can sometimes be a textbook. So what is your testimony? Does I am in a transition to new levels and every moment counts? If that speaks to you, allow it to speak to you. And if it doesn't, then the three, the three P's of creating your affirmations, the, the rule is present tense, which is in this moment right now, is personal, which means it's speaking directly to you and is positive which means it's going to reflect a positive outcome, whether it feels like it or not, because we do have to get uncomfortable in order to step into new places or renewed places in our life. So I don't think it's anything wrong with saying I am. I think it's truly up to what you believe in. And that goes into what we're about to talk about is this woo-woo-ness, right? And a lot of people think affirmations are woo woo i just need to pray you over here trying to recite words that you didn't create it well guess what if the god spark is flowing through me and is speaking in my ear that is empowering me there's nothing woo woo about positive self-talk because you are speaking affirmations whether you realize it or not i will never be that or i am that right i can't do that or i feel my best today 
right? Even if you don't feel your best today, you set yourself up for a winning day. You have to do that. We have choices and the choices come down to your words and then your words reflect your beliefs and then your beliefs turn into actions and then therefore we manifest those things into our life. Okay? So there's nothing woo woo about it and I think it's okay with saying I am. If you don't feel empowered by I am, you don't have to create it into that space. As long as it's personal to you, it's positive and it's present tense, okay? <laughs> Can we get a snap for the three Ps? Can we drop three Ps in the comment bar, y'all? Three Ps. Three P's. Because we pushing P over Personal here. We pushing P. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. So I kind of I want to talk more about the woo woo. I definitely want to put something in there on the woo woo as well. So I want to talk about something in your, your, your mind, your brain, your best friend called the reticular activator. Yo, a yes. a rise, right? Rise, rise, yeah. how you want to say it, right? And this is where I found out, wow, manifestation, affirmation, these things are really working because my mind is bringing to me. So mm -hmm. let's work it down a step further. So we bring in about 10,000 thoughts a day. Right, so much information comes in our mind throughout the day. And we cannot take all of this information in. So our best friend, the reticular activating system, it filters out things that, um, that are, are not important. So what do I mean? So anything that you focus on, your RAS, your reticular activating system is like, oh, I should bring ISIS more of that because that's what they're focusing on. Anything else, I'm gonna move out the way and keep bringing ISIS this. So if you're constantly thinking about negativity or I don't got this or my life is like this or I'm broke or whatever, guess what? That rise back there was like, oh, she needs more instance of being broke. She needs more instance to make her stress. But if you so switch true. those words and you say, man, I'm so grateful for this. I see myself, you guys, I seen myself before I even got to Houston, linking up with powerful people like the Affirmation Coach, linking up with powerful people all here in Houston. I seen it. So guess what my rise did? It said, oh, this is what I just want. Let me align her with the right people at the right time, at the right places, so she can get what she wants. So you guys, these words and this, it has a big significance. This is not woo-woo. No. This is what's happening right now in your mind and you have the power to change it. You do. You absolutely do. You do. I mean, if, if you want to continue affirming that you're not in a good place in life right now, you can. You, you have a choice to speak what you want over your life. You have a choice. You have a choice. And I first heard the uh, reticular activating system from um, Tony Robbins. And when I heard it, I was like, that makes so much sense because he does, he always says, you know, what you focus on, that's what you're going to draw more into your space. And that is actually exactly what you said with the filtering out what you're focused on. You know, your mind is a powerful, t powerful tool. And you can either allow it to run you or you can take control of what you choose to believe about yourself and then manifest and take action into. And so affirmations, they help with your confidence, right? They help with your self-esteem. They help with stress levels, right? Affirmations are truly just shifting your words to reflect the life that you want to lead and live, right? It is just scripting out your next best move, your, your higher potential, your best self. You have these feelings in yourself already. You've seen the visions already. You've been giving, given the gifts already, right? Sometimes you just fall into being, uh, comparing yourself to other people, therefore you put yourself down, right? And in the world of social media and all of everything is put out in front of you, it's so easy to get sucked into wanting to scroll through everybody else's thing and see what they're doing, how they're talking, how they handle this, and you forget to reflect on your own self and have moments with yourself to say what it is that you want to do in your life. And that comes down to being very self-aware and, and, and mindful of what you're saying to yourself. 
right? The story that you're telling yourself. And I'm saying this because I have been through losing my only sister and feeling like I don't know who I am. And I'm here today feeling my most empowered, feeling my most beautiful, feeling like I can speak and actually share and tell you that your words have power. And it's up to you to choose to break up with identifying with old stories old self images that are not empowering you. You have to shed the old in order to break into a new space, a renewed space, and the space that you truly want to be and that you desire. The things that are firing up inside of you. You have to break up with the old in order to step into that. And that comes with the power of your words and being grateful for the lessons that you have learned to even get to this space to move forward in. <laughs> yeah. Can we drop the mic in the chat bar? Can we drop some mic? Let's drop, drop the, the mic. mic because the mic is dropped on that one, right? <laughs> so Love, as it. Get ready to Love close, it. As we get ready to close this thing up, I want to talk a little bit about how do you how do you create positive affirmations? What ways should you do it? How should you do it? How do you do it? So mm -hmm. the thing is, is once you become aware of the things that you're telling yourself and it does not feel empowering, like say I am in transition to new levels and every moment counts. This came because I was going through some shit and I needed to reaffirm that each thing that I'm dealing with, the challenges, the situations in my life, I needed to reaffirm that each of this that I'm going through, all of these things that are sitting on my shoulders, I needed to reaffirm that each moment counts, right? And so therefore I took a negative, negative situation because nothing is truly negative. These things you can either learn from or you can dig a hole and stay stuck in it, right? So you take what you know, the space that you're in right now, whether you're feeling heavy right now, you've got to be aware of the story you're telling yourself and you shift that into what you want it to be. You want it to be literally present tense. I'm stepping into a new space today and I feel confident doing it. You know, you might not feel your most confident, but is that how you want to be? Then talk about it. Talk about how you want to be. Talk about what you want to do. Talk about the dreams and goals and the, the, the desires. You have to put it out into the universe. You have to stop being afraid to speak up about yourself. And I think that's one of the most important things about creating your affirmations is speaking your truth. Because you don't have evidence, sometimes you feel like it's not your truth. You don't need the evidence to know this, that it's your truth. If you felt it, if you've seen it, right? If you heard it, even if you're more clouded by all the distractions and things that may feel heavier, if you had a glimpse of something powerful and positive in your life, you have to hold on to that. You have to let it go, the lies in your head that are not empowering you. So it is about not looking for the evidence, not worrying about the evidence and speaking your truth, meaning the things that you've been given, you have to be okay and give yourself permission to talk about it. And you don't have to talk about it to everybody unless you got a supportive community like this because not everybody will get your vision and not everybody's supposed to get your vision, okay? Not everybody's supposed to know all of your business because some people will not support you in it. But you need to be able to look into the mirror and say, I am having a wonderful day today before your day even starts. Because guess what? That's how you bring it into your life. I am having a wonderful day today. I am going to do amazing things with my life. I don't know what that means. I don't need to know what it means. But I do feel it in my gut that I'm going to do amazing things with my life. Right? Right? I, I feel beautiful today. I might not feel my best today. But guess what? I need a pick-me-up today. Why do I want to talk about how I feel like shit? If I feel like I look like shit, then I'm probably not going to put on any makeup and I'm going to carry on with whatever that feel like shit look is. Guess what? If I wake up and say, I feel beautiful, I'm going to put my eyebrows on. I'm going to put on some earrings. Now I'm stepping into what I'm talking about. So you have to be uh, open to speaking your truth and allowing your truth to not always have the evidence right in front of you. You just got to be bold enough to know what that is. And you got to quiet your mind in order to see it right? You got to quiet your mind. So the first step in, if you want me to break this down in steps, is quieting your mind. Quiet your mind. Okay. Meditation, quiet your mind, hear what you're telling yourself. Once you hear what you're telling yourself, now you shift that if it's a negative or if it's disempowering you, you shift that into saying exactly what it is that you want. You have to turn it around. 
You have to turn it around. If you don't turn it around, you will continue, like you said, going in the rat race. And it's, what is it, uh, Groundhog's Day? You'll wake up and it's the same thing over and over and over again. And you're wondering why things aren't changing for you. It's because you're not changing the language that you're speaking over your life. So that's the first thing, quiet your mind. And then the, 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 the three Ps, make it present, make it personal and make it positive, period. Period. <laughs> Y'all drop a period in the chat bar. Go ahead and drop a period in the chat bar, y'all. You can just drop a period. You can just put the word period. Yes. Please drop that. Go ahead. So really quick, if you don't mind, I kind of want to sprinkle some fairy dust on that as well. Um, sprinkle. <laughs> so I would definitely say, you know, because um, sometimes when I do see people writing affirmations, they're putting, I want, I oh, hope, that's a I good point. wish that, no, yeah. you want to stand in your power, stand in your square, I have, I'm so happy that's and grateful that, and yeah. a little hip, a little hypnosis uh, trick of the subconscious mind is to use the word because, mm -hmm. so for example, um, I'm so happy and grateful that this passive income is flowing to me with grace and ease because I am a child of abundance. Mm. So what it does mm -hmm. is it puts this pause. I'll give you an example. If we were on the it. train, if we were, if we were all on a train and I said, hey, could you get up and let my grandma sit down? People are gonna be looking at you like, what? But if I say, hey, can you get up, let my grandma sit down because she's older. It's something of a trick of the mind that has you pause and think, oh, you're right. So when you tell your mind this, and then you put the because, it's like, oh, yeah, you're right. So, <laughs> so that's a little uh, yeah. hypnotic I love little fairy trick. Dust. Yes, yes. But that fairy dust, if y'all could drop some fairy dust, <laughs> I don't know how if there was a fairy dust emoji. <laughs> y'all drop the fairy dust emoji. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love that. I love that. I want to make sure people caught that because that goes back to your reticular activated system and also where your focus goes, right? You do not want your affirmations to be focused on lack. This is not about lack or neediness. You're not in a lackful state. You're not in a neediness state. You're in a speaking up, right? Speaking empowerment, speaking life over your life. So I love that you cannot focus on the lack or the need or the want of something. It has to be what you're stepping into. You are because, because you are, shit, I don't know. <laughs> you are because you are. You are because you deserve it. You are because you are worthy, right? You are because you are amazing. You are because you are beautiful, because you are beautiful, because you are worthy, because you are deserving, right? That's it. That's it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the message flowing through here today. Yes. Hi, Bob's on Friday. Yes. Hi, Bob's on Friday. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hi, Bob's on Friday. <laughs> so you guys we've had so much fun with you guys you y'all are the best community out there i'm telling you from the interaction to the love you guys helped us cultivate these high vibrations thank you so much for helping us cultivate these high vibrations because your energy had a part on this as well you held this container with us and so everybody that's going to look at this video later on OMG, if they're feeling any type of way after watching this that we all created as a community, that's going to bring them up, you guys. So we really appreciate you guys showing up today. Without you, we wouldn't even be here, right? So we're grateful for you. We're grateful for you always showing up, always supporting, always sharing the message. Thank you. I'm sending many blessings to you and your family. May anything that you're going through right now just dissolve with grace and ease because you are a master creator mm. of your reality, right? Yes. So yes. we want to give you guys a solution and things that you can do and some action steps. So I'm going to have you go ahead and go first. What are some solutions or things that you can give to the community that they can start to do? 
Okay, so I've talked about this um, throughout this entire thing. Uh, what, two things that I teach is to breathe and be selfish. The first one is I have to say you have to be still and be present. The One of the first solutions is understanding your presence. Your presence is power. And in order to hone in on your presence, being present, being still is it. We have to be still. We have been taught to be busy, go, go, go. So you have to learn how to be still and give yourself permission to pause for a moment and become present. And that is within meditation. That could be in with your exercise. That could be in with getting in touch with nature, going for a walk. Um, that could be with just simply taking a moment to inhale and exhale. So understand that your presence is power. And without you being present, you, you're just going to fall for anything. You're going to go through the motions in life and it's going to be Groundhog Day every day. So that's the first one. Take time to become still, meditate, and be present. Okay? And the second thing is, I would have to say is, once you're present, then you're able to understand what self-reflection is. Because now you can hear your thoughts. Now you can hear what you're telling yourself. And with hearing yourself, that's where journaling or writing down comes into place. And in writing down these thoughts that come to mind, you're able to reflect and see, oh my God, I really wasn't that nice to myself. Or, oh my God, I have so much, so much, um, some amazing ideas coming out of me that I didn't even realize were here that you're able to reflect on. And from doing that, you're able to see what it is that's happening in your system, in your body, in your mind, in your spirit. And then there comes the space of manifesting, right? you end up creating a whole new uh, world of opening up and releasing things that are weighing you down and releasing things that are actually empowering you. And now you're able to see, well, which way do you want to go? Because it's all about choices, right? Do you want to stay in a space of that, that does, doesn't feel good? Or do you want to just dump that shit and keep it moving, right? I think we want to dump some shit and keep it moving, right? <laughs> so become present have you a space of meditation and getting in touch with nature, grounding yourself if you want to put your feet into the earth, right? They're keeping us up with some shoes on. Take your shoes off and go ground yourself outside real quick. Get in touch with nature and true vibrations from earth, from the universe, right? And have self-reflection time with yourself, whether that be journaling um, or literally just sitting with your thoughts. Those are my top things there. I have become my my best self and continuously becoming my best self every day because every day I breathe and I'm still and I am reflecting on who I am and who I am uh, elevating into becoming, right? So those are my two main focuses on the solution. And one of the things that I do is hold people accountable because you have to be held accountable for these things. We need supportive community to be held accountable because sometimes you feel like you are alone. A lot of times we all feel like we're going through shit alone and we are all going through some of the same struggles, right? We are all going through some of the same things, right? Mentally anyway, right? You're not alone. And sometimes when you feel like you're alone, you paralyze yourself in a space. So community is a huge factor um, and I think that comes down to talk therapy is what you could call it. Talk therapy when we're in a great community where we're able to express ourselves openly, freely, and in a, a non-judgmental space. And so I host accountability calls every month that is about affirmations and conversations. And it's holding ourselves accountable for keeping our talk and our mind set in a positive space into the things that we're moving into. So if you're interested in any of those accountability calls, you can check out the information in my bio. But those those three things is breathe, self-reflection, community, right? I, I love it. I love y'all. Make sure y'all go ahead and follow her. Make sure y'all follow her. Check out the link in her bio and get on those calls because yes. there's nothing like having community. There's nothing like talking it out and just releasing it. Just releasing that alone can really help you a lot. And I would like to, you know, um, add some um, some some sugar to the to the cake mix. <laughs> I know that didn't make no sense, but hey, it came out right. It came out. <laughs> uh, real so, vibes flowing through here. Real, real, real. <laughs>
So what I would definitely say, my secret weapon, my secret weapon that literally got me out of being homeless, you know, is writing what you're grateful for. Now, if you don't have my personal journal that's coming out November 1st, first off, you need to get it because it's more than just an average journal. We got prompts in there. You got your, your goal count. You got your, you can put your goals in there. You have a calendar. You have inspirational quotes. You guys want to go check that out. But in the meantime, until it releases November 1st, you can take a regular, <laughs> you can take a regular uh, notebook. And when you wake up, I want you guys to start writing what you're grateful for. Literally, like, I'm not even gonna lie, I put you in my gratitude journal, right? Because yeah. I'm grateful to meet you. Like, we miss that sometimes. Like, you gotta put who you're grateful for also, like, what you're grateful for. When I wake up, I say, wow, I'm grateful to be in this bed because I know I came from the air mattress, right? <laughs> I'm grateful from for the people I meet. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful that I can see. So I really want you guys to just take some time and just write some things down. The second thing that I say goes on with Lori, what she said is, um, is when you're doing your, medita uh, your med meditation is I intentionally script out how I want my day to go. Mm. I intentionally script out how I want my day to go. I'm not letting my day just happen to me. I'm intentionally saying how I want my day to be. A lot of people just wake up, they just go about all the day, they're trying to figure out why all this stuff happened because you didn't yeah. script out how you wanted it to go. Yeah. So get up, write what you're grateful for, script out how you want your life to go that day, what you want, who you want to meet, who you want to be, what type of energy you want to be in, right? Start thinking about mm -hmm. those things. And then um, lastly, I say is don't pick up your cell phone. Leave that <laughs> cell phone alone. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you guys something. When you first wake up, you're in hypnosis. And so when you first wake up, you are still in hypnosis because hypnosis is a natural state. And when you pick up that good old cell phone and you see what's going on in these countries with the wars and the drama and all of this, guess where that's going? Mm. Right mm -hmm. in that subconscious mind. And you trying to figure out why you're feeling negative, why you're feeling stressed out, because you're allowing all of this stuff in your subconscious mind, especially when it's in a fetal state. You're just waking up. You're in hypnosis. You want right. to take time for yourself, even if it's an hour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like don't pick up that cell phone, y'all. Matter of fact, put the cell phone in a different room. <laughs> put it in a different room. Okay? Yeah. Turn it off and then put it in a different room because some of y'all are going to try to sneak in the kitchen and go look. <laughs> yeah, look, right? I think that's a great practice. As a matter of fact, watch yourself the next time because that's something that I practice. I don't pick up my phone first thing in the morning. Watch yourself in the morning and you're going to laugh at yourself like how many times you attempt to reach for your phone because subconsciously it's what you do now. It is part of your routine. I grab, grab, grab. Watch yourself and pat yourself. Stop, 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 not today. And watch how it shifts and change how your day starts. That is one of the main things I do every morning. I love that. That is a practice. Watch how many times you grab for your phone when you first wake up. Well, even if it's not right, right there, like you said, put it in the other room. Watch how you literally just. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, so we did have something to say. I pick up my phone to play my affirmations. And I feel like, you know, I, I, I do have my phone for affirmations, but what I'm looking for is to start recording my stuff, downloading it from YouTube and turning my do not disturb on. So I'm not getting right. any messages. Right. That can be right. a little tricky, especially no. if you're still haven't broke the habit of not picking up your phone. That one can get a little tricky. What I would what you say is listen to your affirmations at night. Therefore, you wake up and you're going to hear those affirmations replaying in the morning already. You won't need the phone. That will already be. That's one of the things that I do at night is I already prime myself for the next day. Right. So if I'm on my phone or if I'm on my computer, if it's anything that I'm doing, if I'm reflecting on my my words, I set my intentions the night before. But I also am very intentional about what I plug into my mind before I go to sleep. 
Therefore, I wake up with either affirmations or what I'm moving into today. Like today, I knew today was going to be a powerful day and I wanted to be prepared. So I prepared my mind to be able to speak to you guys and <clears throat> wanting whatever was meant to flow through me, to flow through me to whoever needed to receive whatever the message is you needed to receive today. So I prime myself the night before so that I don't need it from my phone. It's already within me because like you said, you're waking up with that already set in place. So we got to dump shit, say your affirmations or let that play as you go to sleep. Wake up. You won't need your phone for it. It'll already be within you. And that's going to be a powerful feeling within yourself. Amazing. I love that. I love that. So you guys, like I said, it was amazing speaking <laughs> with you guys. Keep going, girl. I know we, can, we can keep going. We can keep going. I love speaking with y'all. Um, I do want to in close and I do want to also add my birthday is November 1st. I will be releasing that journal, but I also have a special birthday promotion on my hypnosis sessions. And this price is the lowest it's going to be. So I will really take advantage of it the whole month of November. I'm doing this birthday special, literally like basically $75 off your first session. If you buy a whole package, you get like $300 off. So you guys don't want to miss this because I'm going to tell you one thing. It's probably not going to be this low like this. So take, take advantage. It's my way of celebrating my birthday with you guys. You want to close it out with anything else? You know what? The, the vibes are high. I just want to make sure that, um, not make sure. I hope that you guys receive this, right? Go back and reflect. If you missed any of this video and you're just tuning in, go back and reflect on this video. You're going to get the same vibes, if not higher. You're going to catch something different. Maybe you're in the space of receiving this or not. Go back and listen to this. A lot of times this is seeds being planted. And so you hear it and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you turn this off and then you go back into reality and it's like, ah, whatever, back to that whole routine, Groundhog Day shit. But let me tell you, these seeds that are planted here, the next time that you need what we spoke about here, it is going to impact you and you're going to get chills in your body. Let me tell you, you're going to feel everything we talked about from the gratitude to speaking highly of yourself and you're going to start breaking chains. You're going to start breaking those limiting, limiting beliefs. You're going to start breaking that doubt within yourself just by you being here today and allowing this seed to be planted. So applaud yourself for being here today, for showing up for yourself today. Because this, Isis and I are here serving, but you showed up for yourself. You may think you showed up for us, but everything you received, you showed up for yourself. And I hope that you know this within yourself, that what you're receiving right now is so powerful. I need you to receive it, not just hear it, but receive it deep down in your gut, your soul, your spirit. So when you turn us off, you are walking with this vibration and nobody can steal this, taint it, or mess with it. All right? Nobody can take this from you, right? Yes, I am in transition to new levels and every moment counts. Thank you for bringing that affirmation back up again. So that is my closing remarks. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I hope you received everything a part of what this was all about. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you share this video, save it for later, yes. and go back and play it again so you can get these high vibes. Peace, you guys.